the dynamic was Einstein would p- propose a problem, yeah, yeah. and then Bohr and Heisenberg would stay up all night <laughs> trying to figure out what was wrong with it. <laughs> and then they'd come back the next next day and they'd have an explanation. This was the explanation. It's a very good one. So the idea is the double slit experiment. It's something that uh, confirms this duality, this wave and particle picture of light. You create a horizontal slit this way. You've got a light source. And then here he's got two slits, one up and one down here. The light's going to spread out over here. Then it's going to hit these guys and spread out from these two points. Yes. And then it's going to create an interference pattern. What if, what if I made the light source so dim that only a single photon ever went through? So it went through one. And then presumably, naively, you would think it would go through one of the slits. Then I should see just two lumps, not the interference pattern. Even if I do a single photon, it somehow splits, interferes with itself, mm. which already yeah. you're like, what? And it's creating an interference pattern. Okay. okay. Next obvious question is to be like, okay, which slit did it go through? Well, if we start attaching detectors on the slits, then it becomes a particle again. And we see two lumps. We don't see the interference pattern. Okay. So Einstein's like, no, this is, this is some weird stuff. Yeah, yeah. Okay. So he has this idea of like, okay, well, you know, I have this first slit right before it gets to the two. Now, if the light is going and it makes its way to the bottom, then it's going to bump the slit up a little bit upwards, okay. right? Because of the momentum transfer. Yeah. So I could, I could, instead of watching the light yep. at the two slits. Yep. 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 Right. It's yep. like the problem was I was watching it at the two slits. Yeah, right, right. And then, and then, you know, it's like, oh, well you messed with it. Yeah. yeah. Right. And, but he's like, no, now I'm going to mess with it over here yeah. before it even gets to the two slits. Yes. I want to watch the slit go up and down and based on that, infer which direction it went. Right. And then from there I can tell which slit it went. To. Right. And then my interference pattern should still be there, yes. but I'll also know which way it oh, went. went. This is a tough one. Bohr, um, Bohr said this was a tough one. This was the explanation. It's a very good one. Um, Bohr said, okay, in order to actually tell yeah. whether the slit was bumped up or bumped down, right. I need to know a difference in momentum yep. in order to tell yes. if it went up or down. Yes. I need to measure that very precisely. Yes. But if I measure the momentum very precisely, what happens to my position? Oh, you, you know, my longer, position is no longer okay. definite, right? Which means the slit could be here, 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 here. The, the, the slits position gets fuzzy, yeah, yeah, yeah. which means the light could have come from up here or up down there, yeah. which means that this path and this path are no longer equally distant. Right. right. So you're not going to get that interference pattern anymore. The interference pattern is going to get smudged out. This, okay. This is, does that make sense? But, but, and, and so you can't see even, even, if you try to do the cheating right before the thing before happens you get to your detector the the physics knows the cheating it is happening it, it's it's <laughs> i mean is this kind of the ties to heisenberg's uncertainty principle in yeah, that? because, because right. the idea is you can't know both position or momentum yeah and like that it's just what it is yeah.